Okay, what I want to do in this video is show you that the PDF at the normal distribution is, well, a PDF, right? We, we just said that. It's not, into, it's not immediately obvious that this 1 over the square root of 2 pi sigma, right? What's, what's up with that? What's up with that square root of 2 pi times e to the negative x minus mu squared divided by 2 sigma squared? Um, is that really a PDF? Well, it turns out that it is, and that square that one over the square root of two pi sigma that is chosen precisely so that it will be a PDF. Um, so if we take the integral from negative infinity to infinity, right? This is how we check to see if it's a PDF. We see that it's non-negative because this is non-negative so long as sigma is positive, and then we see that e to a power is always non-negative. So the whole thing's non-negative. We just need to see that it integrates to one. We have one over the square root of two pi sigma times e to the negative x minus mu squared divided by two sigma squared dx. And what I'm going to do real quick is use Wolfram Alpha to show you that indeed it is a PDF. So let me pull it up here. Uh, we're going to integrate 1 divided by the square root, I uh, better put this in parentheses, square root of 2 pi times s times e to the power of negative x minus mu. I'm going to denote um, sigma with s and m with mu. Um, because my keyboard doesn't have mu and sigma keys, and I bet yours doesn't either. It'd be pretty cool. Let me know if it does. I would love to get me one of those. Uh, and we're integrating from negative infinity to infinity. It turns out this is the hardest calculation of them all. Um, this is honestly probably um, the most in-depth calculation I have seen in my mathematical career. The fact that this integral is equal to 1 is really, really interesting. And um, you might have seen it whenever you took Calculus 3 a long time ago. You have to actually end up going to, to multivariable calculus. Okay, so we see here that indeed the integral comes out to this. Is that 1? Well, let me go back and show you that it is. So we ended up with 1 over the square root of 1 over s squared. Or excuse me, that should be sigma squared. Let me just undo so I can backspace here. Uh, times sigma. Well, since sigma is positive, the square root of 1 over sigma squared is just 1 over sigma. So this is indeed 1, again, so long as sigma is positive. Okay, so I just wanted to do that real quick and show you, I realized when I left that, made that video for the mean and the standard deviation and the normal distribution, I haven't even showed that this is actually a PDF. So I thought I'd do this video real quick and show you that it is indeed a probability density function.